and one times three, three, and we get four thirds. So we're gonna do a lot of those problems in the next part two video. All right, Charlie, let's move on now. One fourth times eight thirds. Now think about this, Charlie. If you have eight apples and somebody takes away one fourth of your apples, how many apples are they taking from you if they're taking one fourth of your apples? Two apples? It's two. It's basically because eight divided by four is two, right? All right. So what do you think one fourth of eight thirds will be? Two thirds. It should be two thirds. Well, let's do the math. We multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. What's one times eight? Eight. And four times three? Twelve. And now we can reduce eight twelves. We can divide top of the bottom by what, Charlie? Four. Four. Very good. And so what do we get, Charlie? What's eight divided by four? Two. And 12 divided by four? Three is three. So it is two thirds. So one fourth of eight thirds is two thirds. That makes sense. Well, let's put a number line up. There's eight thirds. Now what we're gonna do is say, hey, we just found out that one fourth of eight thirds is two thirds. That's what we just calculated. And that makes sense if you take the eight thirds and break it up into fourths, each fourth should be two thirds. And so, Charlie, if one fourth of eight thirds is two thirds, what should two fourths of eight thirds be? Four thirds. Four thirds, that's right. And if we want three fourths of eight thirds, that should be how much? Six thirds. That's right. And four fourths of eight thirds should be eight thirds. Eight thirds. Right? Shouldn't be itself because, I mean, it's four, four fourths rather. Four fourths of eight thirds should be itself because four fourths is basically one. All right. Now, here's a question for you, Charlie. If we add another two thirds, now, that should actually represent five fourths times eight thirds. See, look at this pattern here. One fourth of eight thirds is two thirds. Two fourths of eight thirds is four thirds. Three fourths of eight thirds is six thirds. Four fourths of eight thirds is eight thirds. And so five fourths times eight thirds should be 10 thirds. Okay, let's do the arithmetic here, Charlie. Five fourths times eight thirds. What we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna reduce before we multiply. Now watch this. Notice, and we have an eight on top and a four on the bottom, so we can reduce those by dividing each of those numbers by four. Remember, you must pick a number on top and a number on bottom to divide by the same number. And they're both divisible by four, so we'll show it there. Remember, some people call this cross-canceling. And eight divided by four is a two, and four divided by four is a one. So notice, Charlie, when you multiply across the top, we have five times two, what do you get? 10. And on the bottom, one times three is what? Three is three, so 10 thirds. So five fourths times eight thirds is 10 thirds. There it is over there in the number line. So that was a video that tried to give you a visual representation of multiplication with fractions on a number line. Now in part two, we're just gonna run through the arithmetic. So we'll see you all again soon.